everybody, it's Jennifer. It's Friday, so it's time for Friday Reads. I'll tell you what I've gotten up to since I last gave you an update. So I have finally, after finishing, after starting it in March, I have finished The Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Um, it took me a little bit to get into it, but once I got into it and about the around, eh, around the like 38, 40% mark, it was full speed ahead for this because it got really good and I ended up really enjoying it. So it's about this um, group of, well, I'll just say they're fighters. Um, they were in a band called, they were in a fighting group called Bands uh, called Saga. And they've been separated, they've been off on their own doing their own thing for nearly 20 years when uh, the front man for the band, yes, they're using that as a framing device where they're like front man and then they've got bookers. It's fun. Well, it's, it's fun until it gets cheesy, but it doesn't really detract from it. At least not, it didn't for me. Um, so Golden Gate, the front man, his daughter has a band of her own and she's stuck in this place called Castia that's being sieged by this army of monsters. So he has to go to Clay, who gets, who joins him to get the band back together and rescue his daughter, Rose. Well, I'm not gonna tell you how that ends up, but I thought it ended really well um, it does get a bit cliched kind of at the end, but it's done really well. Um, let's see. There's a lot of good stuff going on in here. Um, there's men with daddy issues. There's men connect, their fathers connecting with their daughters. There's like, what kind of person are you? Are you going to be a monster? Are you going to have like a good life? There's all kinds of stuff like that going on with a whole bunch of ca different cast of characters. Um, there's an Etten. I don't know if that's a thing that exists outside this book, but it's E-T-T-I-N that will just like, it will warm and then break your heart. Um, so yeah. That ended up being really good. And I ended up giving it four stars. After that, the next thing I finished was The Importance of Being Earnest. This was, oh, you know what? I have read something for Victober. The first um, play read-along from Oscar Wilde that was a part of the Victober challenges or read-alongs, group reads. Um, that got five stars. It, it was like my third or fourth time reading it. It is so fun. I love that one so much. And it stayed a five star read for me. And then I just finished today. This is why this video is a little bit late on Friday. I just finished The Last Days of Jack Sparks by um, Jason Arnott. Um, this was his debut novel. And I think he did a pretty good job with it. Um, it's kind of like, well, I don't know if I want to give too much away. Um, I will say that there's like, there ends up being two kind of like really unreliable narrators. Um, Jack spent like a whole year on drugs and his, his he's not totally right. Um, and he, he thinks very highly of himself. And so, yeah, um, as the title suggests, um, Jack doesn't survive to see the publishing of his book. So it comes out with notes um, from his brother, Alistair. And I don't find Alistair to be that reliable either because I do not trust him. It's just, you get like, I don't know. You get the feeling that Alistair has motives. <laughs> that aren't exactly brotherly love. But anyway. Yeah, I thought it was a very good debut. And it has... 
I don't know. It's got like, it's got some classic horror tropes, but it's like mixed in with um, social media and some other twists and turns, which I'm not going to get into. So yeah, that was very enjoyable read. And I gave it four stars on Goodreads. All right, so let's get into what I am currently reading. Um, I have two holdovers left from September. And those books are A Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Um, I am a good ways into that. Um, I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. Um, it's, yeah, they're like halfway, they're almost like halfway through with their working day, so we've gotten far along in there. And my, um, Gone with the Book pick for this, for September was A Room One's Own by Virginia Woolf, and I'm about 65% done with that, but, um, I'm having to take it like in little chunks at a time because... It raises my ire a little bit um, when you think about how things were in the past. Yeah, so I'd say my like initial thoughts were like the first half of the first chapter I thought was a bit more me uh, meandering. And she was setting something up, but I didn't quite get it. And so after a while... Um, well, after a while, when she got to, like, her, like, main point, then it started to pick up for me, because her getting to her point was, I, I didn't quite get it. But, in the, you know, in the end, it started hitting with me, and I finally figured out where the term Shakespeare's sister came from. But then it just made me think of that one song that they had, uh, the, the band. There was a group called Shakespeare's Sister. And then they had that song called Stay. They had a fairly gothy look, actually, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to check back on that. That's just my rather faulty memory. Um, so, yeah, those two are what I am currently reading. And I, it is my aim to be done with those before the weekend's over. Okay, so the book I'm gonna read after that is The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. And it has to do with this man who um, deals with the shadowy side of Jazz Age New York um, in order to make ends meet. And he gets into a spot of trouble. And I'm really looking forward to that. And then I'm going to be reading um, Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. That's going to be my first novel of October. Um, I, I don't know if you remember my last video. I kind of hated it in high school and I only read enough to get like decent grades on my essays and stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving it another shot and seeing if I can be more tolerating towards characters who, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just didn't like them very much. And maybe this time I will be more understanding to their motivations. Who knows? I have to read it first or I'm not going to know. All right, so yeah, that is an update on my reading. Is anybody else getting their TBR ready for November, nonfiction November? Um, I have a long list of 10 books right now and I'm waiting to see what the like prompts are before I finalize it but boy howdy I am looking forward to that um yeah all right you guys that is my Friday reads um thank you so much for watching uh please let me know what you're reading this weekend or if you have any comments on what I've read on uh, what I'm reading uh feel free to put them in the comments Hello. Have a nice weekend. Bye. It's Friday Reads. It's Friday Reads. I miss the big haired bookworm. It's Friday Reads.